Number one, I would say probably uh, we need to tackle and prioritize uh, more sophisticated platforms, not only in our coffee companies, but uh, critically, at, uh, especially at ports and, and the shipping lines. Uh, like Guillermo already mentioned there, and, and, and also Brianna, and how uh, the, the need to completely modernize that, that, that area, documentation, e bills. And there's evidence of bottlenecks and with some unprecedented cargo log jams in the last two years, with costly demerits and detention charges. In a world of cancellations from lowers in our booking structure that we all suffer to the roof, to the max. So definitely uh, they have to completely modernize themselves. And we need to pressure them so, so that we can have much more visibility and then they can act much more efficiently. And, and for us not having to wait four weeks to get just a documentation for the shipping lines or for the ports to kind of release a cargo. So, so I, I would say that's my number one. We also need more open collaborations to share data. I, I already mentioned it that we started that a few years ago. It, it was a challenge. It, it wasn't easy to convince partners uh, to start collaborate, collaborating in a very safe way. And, and, but that needs to continue. We, we, we were only able to, to work with uh, the key uh, high volume uh, partners and wanna do it across the board. I think everybody uh, would uh, benefit from doing it as well. So that, that, that will, uh, I'm assuming that will continue in the, in the near future you know, so that it can become a standard for higher level of efficiencies. What else? Uh, we need more secure encrypted uh, networks to fight continuing cyber attacks. Uh, that won't stop. Uh, that's uh, uh, fortunately a highly profitable criminal business uh, that will not go away. So the more secure we are, the better we'll be. Okay. We need to tackle, I would say, uh, uh, big inefficiencies on the, uh, uh, on the as Guillermo pointed, the bill of uh, bill of lady. I just, I'm always frustrated that I can't believe that uh, in this century we continue to operate with with a paper physical bill of lading, and 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 and, and we all suffer from that. Every time uh, we lose a, or a carrier loses a, a a paper document, and 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 the and the vessel is already at, at the uh, destination, and, and we paid hefty amounts of of, of the marriages and detention fees. So that has to stop. Uh, I heard good news lately that the the finally uh, shippers, uh, all the shipping lines are starting to change their mindset and they are kind of uh, uh, starting to accept that uh, e-bills, electronic bills, as Guillermo pointed out, it might be the way to go. So I think we need to, to pressure everybody. We need to get together and start pressuring them and also ports, uh, even though it's gonna be difficult. I heard that, for example, uh, recent legislation and, and in Congress, uh, upset the unions. And they they were upset. They they knew that uh, uh, that was going to have a consequence on, on resources. So, but but definitely, uh, it's the future. We need to get more efficient uh, for for the majority, right? Which which brings me to 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 uh, and then probably uh, the need to maximize operation resources uh, with more automation. That's what we did in, in, in at Mercon. And, and that definitely uh, uh, re require uh, for, for some of the uh, existing people to relocate to other areas because it, it was simple. Automation uh, brought uh, less uh, human work, uh, unfortunately, but uh, and the good thing is that we were able to relocate uh, appropriately to different resources so nobody would uh, uh, be without uh, unemployment. Okay, so, so that's another thing that, that, that we need to, to, to see for the future. We also, as Guillermo mentioned, I agree, we need to decrease the number of emails, uh, not only for efficiency, but also for healthy reasons. We all get uh, hundreds of emails daily and, and, and that pretty much uh, is very toxic. And uh, the more automation we do, the more integrations, uh, the better will be. So that's something that uh, we need to work on. O sea que nosotros tenemos que trabajar en esto. The another, another aspect uh, that is not uh, usually spoken, uh, uh, just to say, uh, probably the last, not the least, uh, but we need to push for a total leadership uh, culture. Uh, and, and when I'm talking about that, I'm not talking about only the teams, uh, the logistics team, but I'm talking about the CEO and board directors. They need to be the one embracing changes. They need to be the one pushing. And so that everybody gets on the same page and everybody uh, uh, goes for the change. It's not easy. Um, uh, change uh, management is, is always a challenge. Uh, not everybody wants to, to, to leave their, their traditional and many years extend their manual operations. 
So we need the support and we need for our CEOs and, and, and the entire board of directors to uh, embrace uh, and help us with that. 